It was a hot Saturday morning in Santa Margarita as the St. Augustine Saints took on the Santa Margarita Eagles. Hi everybody, I'm Paul Higgins. Eagles looking for their third win without a loss. Lots of energy and lots of fans in the stands. Special thanks to the freshman cheer team. They never stopped cheering as I'm sure they felt the heat. Well, it was the Saints offense that felt the heat and they felt Tyler Parker. He almost gets a fumble recovery, but gets the sack instead. Jackson Collett to Nori Harris. How about this great play as Jackson rolls right, finds Nori Harris on the 25 yard line. Luke Anderson gets the call. He goes right up the middle, a quick fake to the left, back to the middle and into the end zone. So the Eagles led six to nothing early in this contest. More great defense, just shutting down the run game were the Eagles. Excellent play by the defensive line. Now here, Jackson playing Houdini. Somehow he gets away and he will find Robert Dash Smith. And Smith with a pretty catch in the end zone. Yes, for the touchdown. That would make it 13 to nothing. Saints trying to make something happen, but as a quarterback rolls right, Brock DeFreeze steps in for the interception. I covered Brock's dad when he played for Mission Viejo High School. Well here, Jackson with a quick release to Sean Embry. He catches it in stride, and he's as smooth as silk, just like his dad, going all the way for the score. Embry would make it 20 to nothing on that great pass and catch. Eagles defense continues to shine. Carter Wiegus with a quarterback sack. Eagles back out on offense. Jackson, well, he runs all over the place. I think he was trying to get his steps in. Go figure. He throws what will be a perfect pass to Luke Anderson. And then what Luke does, it's amazing. He gets away from one guy, two guys, and then he'll step in and go all the way for the score. Simply incredible play by both the quarterback and the receiver. 27 to nothing. Here, the punt is almost blocked, and Dash is saying, you know what? I'm glad it wasn't blocked, because I'm gonna give you a great return. Dash rolls right, and then stays on his feet, Turns on the Jets, looks like he's gonna go all the way, but he's tackled on the five yard line. Great play by Dash. The Eagles would take advantage of the big play. Fisher Melton is on the other end of this touchdown pass, and that would make it 34 to nothing. When we weren't scoreboard watching, we were watching the defense stop the Saints. Once again, Tyler Parker in on the tackle. And then here, it would be a jump ball in the end zone. Who would get it? Brock DeFreeze. He comes down with his second interception and had sights set on the other end zone. But the Saints come up to make the tackle. Great day for Brock DeFreeze. Well, how many tricks does Jackson have up his sleeve? An incredible pass to Dash. This ball kept going and going and finally falls into the arms of Dash inside the 40-yard line. He stays on his feet, finally tackled on the 26-yard line. Well, a perfect throw and a perfectly smooth catch by Jace Brown. Silk is already taken, but smooth is a good fit for Jace Brown. That would make the score 41 to nothing. O'Byrne at quarterback, well, he gets a nice pass to Brennan Miller-Jones. Making it look easy at 48 to nothing. Late in the third quarter, the Saints finally get something going on offense. The quarterback hands off to the running back and he shifts directions. A nice stiff arm there and then finally getting tackled. Give the Saints credit for hanging in there on a hot day. Quarterback rolls right, decides to tuck it under and go in for the score. So the Saints get on the board and that made it 48 to seven with the running clock. A nice play here by Che Parizo as he runs left stays on his feet, spins, and then finally tackled. Casho Byrne will keep it for the Eagles, finish up the scoring, takes kind of a rough hit at the end of this one, bounces off the turf, 
Everything seems to be okay. Final score in this one was 55 to 7. And yes, the cheerleaders did have a lot to cheer about. The freshmen stay undefeated at 3-0. They're being coached well, and without a doubt, it shows with the excellent results. They have outscored their opponent in three games, 143-27. to Simply incredible on both sides of the ball. These young men are the foundation and the future of SM football. They certainly play entertaining football. The final score, 57-7. For Athletes in Motion Sports Television, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks for watching.